Oh my God, I can outsource my life. Now all I need is something to outsource. Hmm. No. Three weeks later. This is really frustrating. This takes me like five hours to do. It really takes me like five hours to do. This is something that I can outsource. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I am going to talk about how to outsource things that take a lot of your time and are probably not worth it based on things like the four hour work week or the almanac of Naval Ravikant which was fantastic, two fantastic books, two of my favorite books. And when I read this uh, first in the four hour work week about outsourcing things, I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was fantastic. And I started looking for opportunities where I could outsource my life. I already have a maid, I'm very lucky, and uh, who cleans very well here. But I found that video editing takes a ton of my time. It really takes me like five hours to edit a video for YouTube and that's a lot of time for me. I got, I have kids, I have a job and I have other things to do, but I love making videos. So I thought editing would be a perfect thing to outsource. So that's what I did. And I'm gonna tell you how exactly I did it, what the results are. And to give you a hint, the video you're watching right now is edited by an outsourced editor. So it works and it's fantastic, saves me a ton of time and it's a lot of fun. So let's go, let's check it out. Now, looking for YouTube video editing, you find a ton of different sellers that are willing to do it. And just to walk you through, here you have an ad by this ahbutt 98 do awesome YouTube video editing and video post-production. You can see they all start with I will at Fiverr, I don't know why. But this guy's done 194 projects and has an average of 4.9 stars. And there's like level one, there's level two on all of these people. And basically, you can go and look through, you look through all of these and find a, an editor that you feel comfortable. So what did I do? So I looked through all of these video editing people and I chose three that I thought I'd be comfortable with. They were in my price range and they seemed to you know, have good ratings, right? So five stars with a number of projects under their belt. So then I reached out to them and I said, hey, how do you do this? I'm looking for a long-term video editor that's able to edit my videos every week because as you saw in the previous video, I have the goal of putting out at least one video a week for YouTube because that's the way to do it. Initially, I sent them all my footage and it was like 40 minutes of shooting and it was too big and they didn't wanna deal with it, all of them, which is totally fair. So what I did was make an assembly cut. So I, I took out all the chunks, I, I brought all the chunks together that I liked and then, and then put them together into one long video, which is kind of an assembly cut. It wasn't, you know, edited well, but it had all of the chunks that I liked with clean audio. And then I sent that to them and I said, look, I want somebody that will use their artistic ability and their own judgment and come up with a great video. And I gave it to three people so I could see what I would get back because not everybody has the same ideas. So the first video I got back. So you can see from this video, the colors are a bit washed out. They just seem a little bit too saturated to my taste. He used some good stock footage, which was great. I really liked that. But the overall edits were a little bit boring and it really wasn't what I was looking for. So I tried somebody else. And in this one, you can see the colors are about the same as the, as the first one, but right off the bat, from the beginning of the video, he uses some interesting words and some icons and so on. I liked that. I wasn't so thrilled with the, the fonts and the colors he used in the, in the words, but the editing was a bit different than the first guy that I tried. So um, you can see the, the like and subscribe that he put in there as well, also good. And then I tried a third person and you can see the colors uh, aren't so saturated, which I like. He used some good stock footage in this and did some interesting edits and some, some takes and some, some good labels and whatnot. So I went with this guy and, and it, so far it's been working pretty well. 
and I've been enjoying it quite a lot. The process was really fantastic because what I could do was make just the video and focus on the creative process there and then send out that assembly cut to my editors and then they would come back with their own take on it and it saved up a ton of time for me. After I get one first cut then they can do revisions and many of them do you know, as many revisions as you want. But what I'm looking for is somebody that I can go back to every week and just send him or her the video, the rough edit of the video, and they know exactly what to do and they use their own uh, artistic judgment to make it really good. Because what I don't want to do is, is tell them exactly everything to do. No, I, I want them to figure that out and really come up with good cuts. And now, after the, this is my, the second video that I've done, I really like the way that the editor that I've chosen is using zoom ins and outs and, and changing the, the framing of the shots, uh, using music and so on. So it's really starting to take foot, which is great. Actually, I started looking at Fiverr all around, and this isn't an ad for Fiverr, this could be anything, this could be Upwork as well, uh, and we'll look at Upwork as well. So one of the things that I did was look through Fiverr and see what other things people are offering. So you can see up here there's graphic and designs, digital marketing, which might come in handy later on, writing and translation, which is good, you get uh, you know translating from different languages, video and animation, which is where I found my editors, music and audio, programming and tech. And that got me interested when I looked at mobile apps, desktop applications, chatbot, game development. So actually, this is just a crazy idea for another income stream, is to pay one of these people 50 or 100 bucks to write a video game and then put it on the app store, market it a bit, see if I get my 50 or 100 bucks back. So that's gonna be a future video where we're just gonna try it out, why the heck not? And it's like 50 bucks to get somebody to develop a game. Sure, I'm gonna try that. I'm also working on a startup idea. So you know, with this channel, it's all about trying out all of these ideas that people put in about getting different income streams and whatever it is. So one of the things that I'm doing is working with a, a few friends that I know on building a startup. And the startup is around uh, data, let's just say, and AI, uh, two things that I have experience in. And we need a business plan. Well, on Fiverr uh, or Upwork, you can get a business plan. So here's... Um, business plans right there. You can just click it and ask somebody to write the business plan so that you don't have to. So it's really helpful. So I'm really looking forward to digging into, into this and to Upwork. I'll just uh, bring those guys up for a second. So I haven't signed up for Upwork yet. I've only been using Fiverr. So take that for what it's worth. As I do these other things, as I get the gaming stuff going on, I'm gonna make a video on it and you can see what it's like to actually use Fiverr to have some, some dude write a video game for you, put it on the app store, market it, all that stuff. I'll share with you what that takes and see if it's successful. And if it is, I'll keep doing it, why not? Um, same with the business plan and so on. So that's it, that's what I'm gonna get busy with. So if you're watching this video right now, this was edited by somebody who I found on Fiverr. And let me know in the comments if you like it. Let me know if they can improve and so on. We're always looking for feedback. Great to have you along. Have an awesome, awesome day. Bye.